starts thinking, that is kind of interesting, that I can make art personal. And there's never, I mean, if I know, when I'm doing a piece for you, I know Israel, Hollister, sneakers. I can do something, you know, but for uh, around 77,000 people, it's kind of hard to make a personal. So I said, do, does Greg know what color my followers tweet about the most? He said, well, I don't know it by the way. 77,000 people has to be, has to be progress, and we, but we can find out. I said, do, they, do you know what city or what country they tweet about the most? He goes, yeah, yeah, we can figure it out. And I said, can you tell me events or words? And he said, yeah, yeah. So we made this list, and then I guess for a month, the computer started rolling, 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 and a, a list of 10 things came out of each topic, color-wise, uh, uh, topic-wise, and city-wise. And I picked the top three, and I mixed them up together, and I came up with these three paintings. So what you see here, the real ones are actually like 1 meter 50 by 90 centimeters, like this big, but the small ones are here. This is what my followers tweet about the most. And we can play a game here where we're gonna guess, but I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna start with this one on the side. This one is pink, New York, and love. Apparently my followers talk a lot about love. Wow. I don't know what that says about me. That should be a crappy during the love category, maybe. So I, uh, and I also wanted to do three different styles, so people can see the diversity. Above should be Dada. That's how I call it. Big Dada is very, very hip, so I use the word Dada. What you would see if you look close to the picture, you see that there is an image of New York City Times Square right here. And then I painted it in the pink heart. So that I, and actually it is very good because I have love for New York and Times Square. And if it was a woman, I would marry her, I always say. <laughs> like Van Gogh did a lot of nature things. This is for me, it's my nature. This is my sunflower. If I'm in Times Square, you can just you know, pick me up in a few hours and just sitting there in the steps and you know, I enjoyed it. So it was very nice that they treated a lot about these things. The next one, as an artist, you are expected to be a little, a little bit of critical sometimes. So this one is uh, USA follow and green. So when you look close again at the image online maybe, you can see that I printed uh, old dollar. These are old dollar bills underneath. They're not painted, they're real actually printed. And I used arrows where because the rest of the world always tries to follow the US wherever you go. So the flag of course is very painful, but the last arrow here is half. And I made it black, which was not in the, the list of the three things, but I believe that sometimes if everybody just follows the US, things can also go wrong if you copy it the wrong way, or if you do it too much, or, you know, well, that is for everybody's own interpretation, but that is why it's black, that goes a little bit darker. So this one is follow US, and uh, what did I say, follow USA, and green. I just, Colors surprise me the most, why people treat about green and pink. This one, I like, for me, this one is the best because it's again New York City and it's a series that I do more. I use this man for many places. He is the original one for my tulip man. If you look tulip man up in my name, you can see a lot of paintings. He has then a, a tulip head. This one is uh, New York. No, sorry, this, no, no, this, this one is Holland. This one is blue. And this one is Follow Works. So this one is a bit harder. This big man is sort of a leader, and he happens to have a belt blue plate on his head. And Delft blue, if you've been in Holland, you know that it's the plates that they do in Delft. Delft is a city in Holland where we walk around in clocks because the tour is like that. And we make these plates with, uh, plates with windmills. And orange, of course, is the color of my country. So this big man happens to dress <coughs> like this, and all the others, the smaller guys in the world, they follow the big man with the Delft group plate. And why New York, you might say, well, New York was called New Amsterdam a long time ago, and we owned it. Too bad we gave it away. We loaned it to you. Now, well, it was called New Amsterdam. We can have a whole discussion about it. So I like the sort of the, the little layer there. And when you look close, you can see that the buildings are all ended up being windmills. I don't know if you see from there. So all the tops of the skyscrapers are actually uh, uh, windmills. So these paintings are very personal to all the people that follow me. Uh, I found it very interesting that they tweet these things. Love, 
surprised me the most, I have to say. I don't know, maybe people say I love something a yeah. lot or something. I try to work in my head, why would you say love and why would you say... So this is a, this is a collaboration between Big Dada from Cred and the art from me. And online you can see the details because in the print that it didn't work out too good. And I'm just very happy with this collaboration and I'm very happy to be a Cred leader. I'm just maybe a little bit different than most people because I try to explain to people what Cred and social scoring is to most people that wear sneakers and are 21 and don't really care. But I try to explain anyway and that way I'm educating them for the future. My name is Gaby. Thank you.